Hello, thanks for watching this September edition of McQueen's Minute. As the school year is back in full swing, there are many exciting updates in education that I will share with you today. I want to start by spotlighting our 2016-17 Tennessee Teacher of the Year and by also sharing updates on the Read to Be Ready initiative. I will also discuss the newly released Tennessee AP exam results and share what I heard from educators during the recent Twitter chat I moderated about attendance and chronic absenteeism. First, I'm very excited to share that Derek Boyles was recently named the 2016-17 Tennessee Teacher of the Year. Derek is a 7th grade English language arts teacher at Lincoln Heights Middle School in Morristown where he has been teaching for six years. The Teacher of the Year Award is the highest honor an educator in our state can receive and I'm proud to recognize Derek as an excellent classroom teacher as well as a leader among his peers and his community. The nine Teacher of the Year state finalists who represent all the regions in the state will now serve on the Teacher Advisory Council throughout the next school year. We believe that the department makes the best decisions for Tennessee students when educators' perspectives are included in decision making, and this group of expert teachers will provide feedback and inform the work of the department throughout the school year. We also recently shared exciting news as part of the state's Read to Be Ready campaign, which launched in February of 2016 to move 75% of Tennessee students to reading proficiency by the end of third grade by 2025. Reading is foundational to students' academic success, and by cultivating the skills and desire to read, we can develop them into deeper thinkers, problem solvers, lifelong learners, and future leaders of Tennessee. To support this effort, this month was the launch of the Read to Be Ready Coaching Network, in which 200 coaches and two-thirds of Tennessee school districts are participating. The new coaching network is designed to provide intensive support and professional learning opportunities for educators focused on early grades reading. The coaches will work directly with more than 3,000 teachers to improve reading programs and practices in schools across the state and will have an impact on over 77,000 elementary age kids. I'm also pleased to share that our most recent advanced placement, our AP results, show that more Tennessee students than ever before are taking AP exams and they're receiving credit. The newly released data show that almost 28,000 Tennessee public school students took one or more AP exam in 2016, up 8.8%. 3,700 exams were scored at three or higher, making sure that we have more students receiving college credit in high school. Research has shown that students who participate in early post-secondary courses like AP are more likely to enroll and persist in post-secondary. To ensure their success in college and their future careers, all students in Tennessee need to have access to rigorous and relevant early post-secondary opportunities, and AP course expansion is a huge component of that work. Lastly, I'm grateful for the educators who participated in the September Twitter chat to discuss attendance, chronic absenteeism, and exclusionary discipline practices in our state. Thanks to you, we gained valuable insight about this perspective and how we tackle this difficult issue. We have captured the snapshot of this on our website. Please make sure you look at the website to get more. We hope you continue to check our blog, Classroom Chronicles, the department's website, and tnready.gov for important updates this fall. Thanks for watching the September edition of McQueen's Minute. I look forward to sharing more updates in October.